Hello, my name is Arthic, and I stream retro games on my Twitch channel using a Rock Band drum kit and Guitar Hero controller. And today I'm going to show you how I connect my Wii Rock Band drums as a controller to my NES emulator on my MacBook. And so things that I use, I use a MacBook running Mac OS Catalina 10.15, uh, but anything higher than 10.7 should still work. Uh, I use a Wii Rock Band USB drum kit, and I use a USB to USB-C adapter to connect this directly to the MacBook. So you can just plug the drum kit using that adapter directly into the MacBook, and you will need to download a free software called Enjoyable, where the link I'll add in the description. Uh, <clears throat> once you have the software, you can open it up, and this is Enjoyable once you've opened it up. You'll see Harmonic Drum Controller for Nintendo Wii in the window, along with all the inputs that are possible. And so when you hit the pads or the buttons, uh, the Enjoyable will switch to the line for that uh, for that input. So this red red uh, red tom is button three. This yellow tom is button four. Uh, this blue pad is number button one. This green pad is button two, and the foot pedal is button five. The uh, there's also these tiny buttons minus and plus. Those correspond to buttons nine and ten. Uh, so what you can do with Enjoyable is you can assign each one of these buttons to a press a key over here and um, in the right side of the Enjoyable window. And so what I do is I match the Enjoyable um, I match the Enjoyable output key presses to the input in my NES emulator. And I use Nestopia, where Z and X are mapped to the B button and A button respectively. Uh, and I set plus and minus e, uh, to C and V, which are mapped to select and start respectively. And so one thing caveat that I've found uh, with enjoyable software is that I have to use uh, Nestopia and BSNES emulators since newer programs like RetroArch and OpenEMU will override the enjoyable mapping. They will recognize the Harmonix um, USB drum kit as a USB controller, and so you can't map the the inputs to a keyboard press. So if somebody watching knows how to fix that, uh, please let us everybody know in the comments. Uh, so one last thing to note with the drum kit is the, the pads themselves are not persistent. So when you hit a drum pad, it only simulates a short press. And the only input that you can hold down persistently is the foot pedal. So what this does is um, forces me to use a slightly different setup to play through the games that I play through. And I use the red snare. Um, I use this uh, enjoyable function called switch to mapping. So I'm playing Castlevania. I actually have three mappings. I have uh, left, right, and crouch. And so in all of these settings, uh, everything but the foot pedal is the same, where the yellow pad is up, the blue pad is uh, the B button whip, the, the green pad is A button jump, but the red pad will cycle me through those three mappings, my left, right, and crouch. So if I'm on the left mode, hitting the red, uh, the red tom will switch me to the right mode. And if I'm in the right mode, then it will switch me to the crouch mode. And if I'm in crouch mode, then it will switch me back to left mode. And so what that looks like is, uh, is this, where if I'm right now in, in uh, left, uh, left mode, then Simon will walk to the left. But if I hit the red tom, then Simon will walk to the right. If I hit it one more time, using the foot pedal, Simon will crouch. And so what this lets me do is uh, move Simon in any direction I want using just the foot pedal, as long as I keep track of where I am in the mapping cycle. And so this, this is what it looks like moving Simon around. And I have, the, like I said, the yellow mapped to up and um, the blue pad map to B button, which is whip, and the um, green pad map to jump. So this is what it looks like, Just moving around. And so that's how I play Castlevania. Um, pause out of that. So uh, another game I play is The Legend of Zelda, and I have a slightly different mapping for that. Um, so here uh, with Legend of Zelda, I, use, I actually use 
I use four mappings, uh, left, because uh, Link needs to move in all four directions. So I use left, up, right, and down. And uh, so just like with Castlevania, pressing the red tom will sw cycle me through those, those left, up, down, and right. So what that looks like when you're playing is uh, like this. So right now I'm in left mode, so Link will walk to the left. And if I want to move upwards, I have to hit the, uh, the, the red tom once. And so every time I hit the red, the red snare, it will allow me to have Link move in a different direction. So I have to be very cognizant of what direction my foot pedal will make Link walk, because I can only make him move in one direction at a time. So this is what it looks like, just moving around. Not doing a very good job of fighting these dark nets, but I think the point has been uh, get the idea of how to move him. So I can kill this last guy. Nope, can't get him. All right, well that's that's it for the video, and that's how I. Uh, that's how I uh, play NES games using the Rock Band drum kit. Uh, so using basically using the switch mappings, there are all sorts of ways you can use the Rock Band drum kit to uh, control your games. So if you have any ideas for games you'd like to see me play or mappings, uh, please let me know in the comments and I'll see if I can give it a try. So thanks very much for watching. If you liked the video or you wanna see me beat uh, NES or SNES games using a Rock Band drum kit or a Guitar Hero controller, you can like the video or subscribe to see me play, do playthroughs. I play through all sorts of Castlevanias and all sorts of Zelda. You can also watch me play uh, live games on my Twitch, which I will link down in the description. Thanks very much for watching. Have a great day.